So what we have here is we've got a couple of uh, nanotech demos. So we've got a super hydrophobic coating on the phone and we've got a graphene-based sensor underneath. So in the demo, we put a drop on here, rolls off, hits the sensor, that then triggers a high-speed camera behind which is going to capture the drop impacts so we can see it in slow motion. So if I take a drop, so now we've just got to play that back. Okay. So we see the water really doesn't want to stick to that super hydrophobic surface, it's just going to bounce around and roll off. So I mean, why is that relevant to the mobile space? Well, this is great if we can get this into devices because we can improve their water resistance. We also get good things like improved fingerprint resistance and uh, stain resistance, these kind of things. So this technology is on that phone already? So it's on this, it's on this phone already. Underneath there, there's a, a graphene-based sensor. So graphene's interesting because it's transparent and it's conductive and it's also stretchable. So what we can do then is we can build that sensor into a material like this, which is very, which is elastomeric, and we can use that to sense gestures like the bend and the twist. And this then enables completely new form factors of devices, so you can interact with your device in a completely new way. So this is not on any of current Nokia's? It's not currently on the exterior of Nokia devices, no, but it's, it's, it's coming soon in the future, we hope.